guys, welcome back. Today I have another review, of course, another summer collection. It's the Morgan Taylor Clueless collection, and there's a lot of really fun bright shades. This is kind of the collection that I've been craving, at least a handful of these polishes. I'm back to my regular swatching way. I tried a different way the last few times in my reviews to kind of save me some time because I do reels too, and then I have to film them another direction, and it's just a pain in my butt. <laughs> So I was trying to save time. I might kind of mess around with it a little bit these next few videos. So just be patient with me. I'm trying to figure it out. I'm trying to figure out the best way and I'm learning. And that's the thing with social media. You always have to learn and grow and try new things, which can be frustrating at times because I do like to keep things pretty consistent, but I'm back to my old way. I know a few of you really didn't like it all that much, but I'm going to find a way that works for both of us, hopefully. So be patient with me as I go through that process. Um, the other summer collections I've been reviewing like SEOP, PI and Orly have been a little bit interesting. You can check out my YouTube reviews. I'll put the link down to those below the newest ones that I have done reviews for. This one was a little bit refreshing for me because it's just more my style and my taste for summer polishes. This collection was sent to me from Beyond Polish. It's a wonderful place to buy polish at a discounted price and then you can use my coupon code golari 10 for even cheaper prices on non-sale items. Thank you for shopping on that link and this collection is available there now. So if you want any of these, snag them. Okay, let's get into all the different colors. This first one is adorably clueless and it's a beautiful mid-tone pink. I feel like it's kind of in between cool and warm. I feel like this is a pretty good mid-range as far as cool and warm toned. It's kind of like right in the middle, but against some cooler tone polishes, it definitely looks warmer. And then against some warm tone polishes, it's a little bit cooler. So I found this one kind of interesting. I wouldn't say it's super original because it's pretty much just a bubblegum pink, but I did, yeah, two sets of comparisons so you guys can see there. I didn't have anything that was like super exact, although there were things that were pretty close. Anyway, this one has a beautiful formula. I would say you probably do need three coats to this. I mean, you might be able to get away with two just because it has a lot of white in the base. And when that happens, you do tend to get a little bit more streaks going on in there. These bubblegum pinks that are a little bit lighter are always worth it to me to do three coats. So let's talk about those comparisons. So I compared it to Plant One On Me from Morgan Taylor. That one's more muted and a little bit darker as you can see there and then Susie Nell's New Orleans is close but a touch darker as well as Racing for Pinks and as you guys know in my recent OPI review for Racing for Pinks those two are pretty much exact. They're not like super exact but they're very very close and then I compared Lovey Dovey and that one's a little bit cooler and then Pin Me Pink is slightly more berry and then Backseat Besties is brighter and more cool toned and that kind of gives you an idea of where it is on that spectrum. There are some that are close and I wouldn't say it's like super original, but I loved it. The next one is So Check It Out, and it's this beautiful sage green. I love these kind of sage greens. This one's a little bit darker. It's kind of a mid-tone, and it's just so soft and calming. I really like these for spring. I do think it's kind of an interesting summer choice, but I do think it goes along well with this collection. I don't know. I feel like I'd wear this more in the spring, but it's beautiful, and the formula is just fantastic. It was so close to almost one coat, but I would definitely do two. Their brush is amazing. I hardly have to do any cleanup with this. I wish OPI would switch their brushes because I just got done swatching all those and this brush is so much better than OPI's brush. It just makes me kind of want to switch a little more to Morgan Taylor. I've really been enjoying their collections. In fact, their summer collection last year was fantastic too. So you should check out my review on that. I think this is beautiful. So let's talk about those comparisons because I know there's one you're going to say is exactly the same and it pretty much is. It's natural connection. It's maybe just a touch darker. I want to say that So Check It Out has a little bit more white in it and then this cost me a mint from OPI is brighter and lighter and then belief in yourself is sage but it's cooler toned so this one does have a little bit of blue in it but not as much as sage you love me so um, beautiful beautiful shade and then we have this beautiful sky blue called totally Betty these names are so fun actually it's kind of taken me back to high school but this is a beautiful sky blue it has quite a bit of white in it so it's really bright and fun and amazing with a tan. So this is going to be so fun in summer. It has a great formula too. It's going to be opaque in two coats. There's a reason that I like this one because it's almost exact to Malibu Shore. And so you can see that there. That's um, one that I believe was released last year with OPI. And then Ripple Reflect. That gives you an idea of how this is compared to those two. And then Mega Bay Blue. Pretty much an exact match to Malibu Shore. So I don't know if you need this one or not. If you have that one, you probably don't. But if you really love the Morgan Taylor brand, then 
and you like that blue color, you're really gonna wanna get this one. It is fantastic. Next we have Highly Selective and it's this glitter packed pink. First I thought this was a topper, but then it did build up pretty nicely in three coats. It's got really kind of fluffy light glitter in it. It's got a little bit of a warm tone in it too. So it's really nice. Um, I think you could use it as a topper, but it did build up. I do think you're gonna be able to see that nail line quite a bit. My nails are short right now, so I didn't see it a ton. I had to cut them short because I've been working in the yard and my two hobbies do not go well together. Good nails and working in the dirt. <laughs> Not so good with that nail strengthener I've been using. I'll link it down below. It's a huge difference. They don't like totally peel. They're a little bit stronger. And so I'll have to talk about that on Instagram. But back to this, I think it's pretty. I did compare it here to a lot of other pink glitters that we've had come out recently, just so you could see what it was like. None of these are the same though. So I have just Karate Kidding You. And then I have Filling Flirty. And then I have Sugar Crush It. Sugar Crush It is a little bit lighter. It has some white in it. That's probably my favorite favorite for like a full glitter mani I would say and I really enjoy sugar crush it quite a bit I probably should have said that was one of my favorites because I do love the pink tone of it so out of all those that one's my favorite this one just doesn't really have a high impact on the nail I mean it probably does out in the sun but as a color it's not I don't know it's more kind of like my skin tone it doesn't really pop so there's that one and then we have uh, As If, and I love the name for that one. And this is a bright yellow. I love that it has this silver shimmer in there. It's quite subtle. I don't think you're gonna be able to see it only in bright sunlight. And they'll just be like little twinkling of it. But I, I really appreciate that. I feel like I don't like the warmness of yellow sometimes. And so I feel like that cools it down a little bit. And so I really appreciated the silver glitter because it seems like a lot of the times these yellows have a more golden shimmer. So I think this one is different. It does have a pretty good formula. I do think you're going to need three coats and that's pretty typical for a yellow. So let's look at the other yellows that I compared it with. I don't really have anything exactly the same. I just wanted to give you an idea on the color tone on this one. And so here I have Never Adola's Moment and that one's muted too. So that was like the closest I could find. It's a little more muted. And then I wanted you to see how it compared to Glow Like a Star and Days in the Sun and they're both lighter and brighter there. Those are both Morgan Taylor. So I did find this one to be a little unique and I like the fact that it does have that silver glitter so I thought this one was pretty cool and next we have let's do a makeover and it's this beautiful bright marigold shade and I wouldn't call it quite neon but it's very close it's super bright it's gonna have a good impact on your skin it's gonna give you that nice contrast especially for darker skin and so I really like these orange leaning yellows better than just straight up yellow so I like this one quite a bit and it's got a good formula it's gonna be opaque in two coats and we have been seeing a lot of polishes like this be released recently so I did want to compare it to those so here are those comparisons since I compared it to Break It Sundown and it's pretty much exact. I kind of assumed that it would be. Marigolden Hour is more yellow and so is Orly Claim to Fame and those two are actually pretty much exact too. If you have Break It Sundown, you definitely don't need this one. Not super original. There's definitely a dupe for it, but if you like the Morgan Taylor line and you want to get a color like Break It Sundown, this is the one to get. And then we have I Totally Paused and I really like that name. This is the polish that I'm wearing my nails right now. It is beautiful, you guys. It's this beautiful, bright, corally red shade so it's kind of a pink with a little bit of red in it this is the color that I've really been craving this season just like these really pinky reds this one's really bright and fun the formula surprised me a little bit because this is a little bit crelly so it's a little bit squishy it's fun for summer there's quite a few colors like this out there and these are all gonna look pretty much the same but I do think the formula on this one's just slightly different well it is the same to one that I'll talk about um, from OPI but it is just Ah, so good. I love it. It does have just this beautiful glow to it and I immediately wanted to put it on. So that's what I'm wearing today. So let's look at those comparisons. So compared to Toy to the World, that one's slightly more red. Um, but just slightly. That one has a really great formula too. It's more opaque. It's not as crelly-ish as this one. She's a bad. Mufaletta is a touch brighter. So if you want something that's even a little bit brighter than this, that's a good one too if you don't have that one. And then Buried Treasures is pretty much the same as She's a Bad Mufaletta, just a touch brighter, but those are both really good options too. But with this brush and right now, I mean, I really just love this one. It's going to be one that I pull out maybe a few times this summer. It's just fantastic and it's just what I've been craving. This next one is Driving in Platforms and it is amazing. On my notes here I have wow, love with like three exclamation marks which I don't do too often. I try to just stick to one. <laughs> I'm not too dramatic. But anyway, I love 
this shade so much. You guys know I love these kind of peachy orange corals and this one has a beautiful brightness to it. Thought it'd be exactly the same as these other ones. Okay, they are kind of the same. This one does just have a little bit of brightness so it's a little bit different. <laughs> And I think a lot of you can appreciate that like I can. It is just beautiful. The formula is great. I just love it. I don't know what else to say about it, but let's look at those comparisons so you can see what it compares to. So I compared it to Trout Pout. It's a touch lighter, not as bright, but it's pretty close in color tone to this. I thought they would be exact when I saw the bottles. And then Susie's my avatar and got myself into a Jambalaya are both lighter. They're very close to each other. All these other ones I'm comparing them to are more neon. So you can see that driving in platforms is not neon but it is very bright so artificial orange is more neon and it's more orange I thought it would be very close to that but it's different it's quite neon and then I thought maybe this would be close to the old flip-flop fantasy but I don't have that one but I imagine that one's the old version is very neon but kind of the same color tone as driving in platforms but the updated flip-flop fantasy which everyone says is way different than the other one is neon and more orange and has more of a white base i feel like this one's different enough probably going to be in my running for my favorite polish for this year we'll have to see it's so good and then we have she's a classic and it's this beautiful bright neon pink i love neon pinks <laughs> For this time of year, it's probably one of the only neons that I'll wear. I, I wore a lot last year and I loved it. Um, it was just so fun to be out on the water with a neon polish. It's got a fantastic formula. It's going to be opaque in two coats. You might need three depending on your application, but it's really, really great formula. It does dry down matte just because it does have that neon quality. And I know you're going to be asking me how it compares to Spin Me Around. So let's look at that hair. Spin Me Around is a touch warmer. They are very close. I wanted you to see that. I did top coat both of these. Um, Spin Me Around isn't super matte, but She's a Classic is, but I just thought it would help you see how close they are in color tone and I don't know if you can see that slight difference but she's a classic is just a touch cooler and then it's in the shade is bright as well but that's more of a raspberry shade and then VIP pink passes is not as neon and more pink leaning so it's a little bit different I don't have a ton of these pink neons I do have one from Cirque Colors I can't remember the name off the top of my head but it is quite a bit lighter it's got a lot of white in the base it's kind of like a pastel neon I'm thinking of grabbing the new Cirque Colors summer collection because it looks amazing and I think I might so stay tuned for that but I really love this one I do like that it's a little bit cooler toned it is pretty close to spin me around though so I'll let you decide if you want to pick this one up too and then we have powers of persuasion it's this beautiful purple we've seen a lot of these come out recently this one does have a little bit more blue in it it's quite a bit more cooler tone which I really love it's so fun I love these kind of purples even if I have a ton I'm really excited to have a few more but this one has a really fantastic form it's going to be opaque in two coats I feel like it was like super super close to one coat as well. And then let's look at those comparisons. So I compared it to Synthetic Symphony. I thought it would be almost exact that, but Synthetic Symphony is not as blue as Powers of Persuasion. And then Crash the Party is more of a red berry toned polish and Tangled in Love is more purple. So you can see they are slightly different. So hopefully you can appreciate that comparison to see if this is one that you wanna get, but I really loved this one too. And the next two we have are toppers. So we're gonna start with this silver one. This is called Oops My Bad and it's got these tinsel pieces that are iridescent and shifting. I don't know. These aren't my favorite but I think a lot of you might like them. I don't know. I'll let you see it here. I did a live swatch I think of it just as a topper because you're definitely not going to want to use this to build up total tinsel on your nail. I just don't think that would look very good so I just have it shown as a topper. I didn't do any comparisons but I don't know. I just think it's okay but if it's your birthday or something and you want to throw this on or maybe you like tinsel. I don't know. People probably do but not really my thing but some of you probably will like this one and then we have this gold flex one it's got these really irregular chunk gold flex and also some like black flex and they do have a little bit of iridescence to them the gold ones and it's called two snaps for you and I thought this one was okay too it's kind of just like having the little foil pieces on your nail which I like once in a while I feel like that was kind of big three or four years ago but it's not like huge now so anyway a little bit different but I'm not sure I will use this I'll let you look at these swatches here and decide if these are something that you're really interested in. Okay, so I'm gonna pull out my favorites. There's a lot. They are kind of similar to other ones that I have, but I still love them. Uh, so it's all these. 
all the creams that I just really love, minus the bright orange and yellow and then the glitters. So I pretty much love all of these. I think they look really nice together too. Even though they're not super original, I definitely know I'm going to wear them this summer. So let me know your thoughts on this collection. Thanks so much for watching again. And don't forget to subscribe and comment down below. I really appreciate it. And we will see you next time. Bye.